joining us every Monday morning. Jackie Russo, good morning. Good morning. So you're um, on the road, blazing trails, either going to, you're either, here's Jackie. She's either going to a meeting, she's going to a baseball game, or she's headed to Grand Coteau. They're usually one of the three is where we're, where we're at, but she's on the road she, joining us today. Today it is C. I am taking two lovely volleyball players to morning workouts at Grand Coteau. See, I, I, we know, Jackie, when you say you're on the road, it, most likely it's between Lafayette and Grand Coteau. <laughs> I-49, it should be renamed the Jackie Russo Thruway right there. But what a great road to drive on early in the morning. It's wide open, nice 70-mile-an-hour <laughs> speed limit. Um, it's a lot better than trying to cross the basin and having to go to Baton Rouge every day. You know, I can complain about getting up at 4 a.m. every day, but the one thing I can't complain about is getting every green light <laughs> on Ambassador or Johnston to Ambassador all the way to the radio station. It's the best. It really is the best. I love those synced lights. So we talked a little bit earlier. Uh, there is a, there's a free seminar that's going to be going on, really talking about getting uh, getting your business digital ready. And I want to kind of pick back, piggyback on that. And you talked sure. about five ways to be meaningful online in today's Razor Branding blog. Right. It's so important for people not to just have an online presence, but to have one that has value and that makes sense to your business. I can imagine that's all very strategic from your end. It has to be. Nobody just wakes up and automatically has the perfect post and the right ideas and remembers to do it all day long. Um, No matter where you are in the demographic spectrum of comfortability online, you got to think about doing it the right way and what you hope to accomplish. So we recommend really writing out a plan and being thoughtful with how you're going to post online and what you're going to share, not with the idea that millions of people will see it and comment on it and you'll be a viral superstar, (laughs) but really so that you can be effective and genuine and real um, because it's that authenticity that's going to establish, first of all, whether or not people care about what you're saying. So you have five in the blog today. We're going to hit on each one. If you could just tell me a little bit something about each. Let's start with connection. Sure. So connection is all about having something that's relatable and interesting and that people want to connect with. So you've got to think about it from the terms of uh, a restaurant, for example. Well, people are going to connect over your food. So show them pictures of it. Describe it. Let them know what to expect. What are the specials today? And do it at a time when they're thinking about eating. So if you're going to be talking about lunch specials, don't do it at 2 in the afternoon. Do it at 1030 or 11 in the morning when people are planning out where they're going for lunch. And, and, you know, we live in a world where everyone looks, if you look at their Instagram feed page, everyone looks like a professional photographer. So if you are right. putting pictures of your food, it should be on a clean plate, on a clean table that really shows it in its best form. Absolutely. I can't emphasize that enough. If you are um, working somewhere and you're not really taking the time to carefully light and stage your photos, then they're going to look bad, especially by comparison to everyone else. Now, if you have the gift of a great phone in your pocket with an incredible camera. And (laughs) so use those features. It gives you cool filters. It gives you neat things you can type on it. You can do all kinds of awesome things with your photos to look professional quality without actually having to be a professional. Let's move on to originality. You don't want to just copy and paste what somebody else is saying. You don't want to mimic what other people are doing. You do want to be aware of what's happening in your industry, not just in your community, but across the country or even the globe, depending on what you do. Be aware of the competition because they may inspire ideas in you, but don't just do exactly what they're doing. Be original and provide something that no one else has seen or done so that it's really unique to you. You know, you mentioned uh, under your advancement list, uh, you mentioned Facebook Live, which is something I see more and more businesses, especially in my business uh, of different media companies where you can watch press conferences live. You know, if it's the big thing going on in town, Someone is going to be using Facebook Live, but it could be used by other people, not just media outlets. It can be really used by anybody. Um, If you are a retailer and you're unpacking a new shipment of merchandise that you just received, you could use Facebook Live to broadcast that and really build up some anticipation as you're putting out new things on the floor for display. If you are a restaurant, you could do a wine tasting, and you could do it for Facebook Live and have people talking about, the tannins and the oaky flavor. Um, <laughs> you know, you can do anything through yeah. Facebook Live. And so it really becomes a great, unique way to share what you're doing with the community right then and there and build up some anticipation. And so I need to go to there. I need to be at that. You know, I have a friend who owns a small boutique in the New Orleans area. And, 
you know, you used to want to get all this, you get all these new clothes, you have the spring season, what have you. And then it was, do we have a fashion show? Well, then you have to have a venue and then you have to have people and you have to invite them. Just recently started doing some little mini fashion shows. They last about 10 minutes on Facebook Live. They use their store so people see the inside of the store. They see the new content. I mean, they see the new clothes. I think it's just a great idea. And Facebook Live is just growing. Absolutely. There's so many different ways, no matter what your business is. Because here's the thing. If you're a law firm or a CPA firm, no one probably wants to Facebook Live watch you work. <laughs> yeah. um, really. But... What else is going on in the office? Are you celebrating your birthday or anniversary? Is there somebody who's worked there for 30 years? And if so, what makes your company so great that they want to work at it for 30 years? Profile that person. Give them a little chance to make an acceptance speech um, and share their love. Because then you've got employee testimonial, which is great for recruitment, and a nice little plug for the company all in one. That's great. Um, engagement, I think, sort of speaks for itself. Just, just being present and being part of it. And you, then you wrap up with creativity. How important is it to stand up on the creative side with this? It really is. And not everybody's creative. I get that. I'm not. I'm strategically creative, but I, I can't draw or sing <laughs> or act or dance or do any of those kinds of artsy creative things. So you've got to be creative in your skill set and in your strength. So what is your big idea? And then dig a little deeper and then dig a little deeper again and find a way to really present it in a way that's going to be compelling and engaging. That creativity is what's going to draw people in. Five ways to be more meaningful online. It's today's blog post, and you can find it at brandrusso.com. We'll also cross-post it on our website, kpel965.com. Thank you uh, from the road, Jackie Russo, for joining us. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. Hey, Thank have a great – pass along our good wishes for a great workout because Lord knows uh, I'm not getting it done today. No, I'm not either. But <laughs> <still>. <laughs> All right. Thanks again. We appreciate it.